What do you guys want? Come on now, Jotaro. Aren't you glad to see your ancestors? I don't mind seeing Jonathan. It's you I have a problem with. How could you have a problem with me? I'm not here to cause any trouble. I know of your antics from older you, so I don't want any shenanigans where I'm using Star Platinum to replace your balls with your clackers. It could do that. The best part is, you won't see it coming. Relax, gentlemen. Why don't we sit back and enjoy some tea? As long as you're making it, do you want milk or sugar with that? Milk and sugar. I don't think you need the sugar. I'm sorry to say this, Joseph, but I agree with Jotaro. If you don't put the sugar in, I'll just do it myself. Hey, watch your temper. Don't act so spoiled. All I wanted was a cup of tea, not a lecture. In this case, you're getting both. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill at this point. Hanging out with family is not something I usually do. Don't you live with future versions of yourself? Yeah, but that's me. Is it Jolene here too? Yes, but we don't hang out a lot because I'm too busy being pestered by the other me's. I barely beat up with my future selves. I'm still trying to have fun while I'm still young. Aren't you married to Susie Q? She usually lets me have fun when I want to. She isn't some stubborn old woman yet. She never gets that stubborn when she gets older, so you might be fine for the time being. We'll see how it goes in this universe or whatever you want to call this timeline. Here's your tea, gentlemen. I hope it's to your liking. Thanks, Granddad. It was a pleasure to do so, Grandson. This tea is definitely better than what Gigi could do. I thank my English roots for being able to adequately conjure up a sufficient cup of tea. Okay, Oxford. What was it like existing in the 1800s? Nothing much to it, really. We didn't have all this fancy technology back then, so we made do with what we had. Which was what, exactly? Reading, studying, having Dio essentially ruin your life, and boxing. How good are you of a boxer? Much better than when I was younger. Oh, I bet I could take you. Now that's something I could laugh at all day. You think I can't take my own granddad in a fight? He would demolish you, Joseph, until you decide to cheat your way to victory. What? I want Jake. You must play fair, Joseph. It's what a gentleman would do. Unless you want to be like Dio and never play by the rules. Boy, I just look for loopholes, that's all. I still think you would lose. Fine, I'll leave it to that. How about you, Jotaro? How's it going with your life so far? I'm surviving. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Stop being so pessimistic and start smiling more. He has a point, Jotaro. Be more optimistic. There hasn't been much going on. It's just dealing with the everyday struggles of knowing your potential future and being able to deal with yourself. All the time. You're doing a fine job, Jotaro. I knew when you asked me back then about your personal endeavors that you were always able to overcome them. Then what about me? You're doing marvelously despite the fact that every time you try to do something comedic with your work, you can get everyone killed in the process. Oh, I do things my way and it's been working out for me ever since. He's actually not wrong about that. He'll do that until the day he dies. Dying can wait. I have more important things to do. You need to be working on your ripple training, young man. What are you talking about, old man? My ripple Ripple is in tip-top shape. You're never too young to train your Ripple. Oh, I had my mother as one of the best teachers in the world, so I'm not too worried about it. Your mother? I didn't know she was a Ripple user. Well, it could be my dad since he died in the war. Maybe someday you'll see your father sooner than you think. Bollocks to him. I don't want to see him now. I understand. Well, it was nice talking to you, gentlemen, but it's time for me to take my leave. Where are you going? I have things I want to do as well. Fine. We didn't need you here anyways. Take care of yourself, Jonathan. Thin. For this life of mine, I shall. That man is too goody two shoes for his own good. Maybe you should be more like him. Then I wouldn't be able to be me. That's a good thing. Why do I even bother coming over here? Joseph, what are you doing here? Being berated by your father, apparently. He's gullible to irritation. Well, it was nice seeing you, but I'm heading out. You're leaving too? What are you up to? I'm gonna go hang out with my family as well. It's Josuke and Giorno, isn't it? Yes, it is. Enjoy yourself out there because I know I wouldn't. I will. Do you have anything else to talk about? No. Not anything at all? Do you read manga? I read Superman comics when I was younger. Then there's nothing left to talk about.